We're now going to create our design tin. To give us a more accurate triangulation, we're going to move our sections closer together. So we can just go to Edit Function and select Road 1. And inside here, we can change our section separation from 10 meters down to 2 meters and click on Apply. We can then select Road Number 2 and change the section separation there to 2 also and click Apply. You can finish on that panel then. Just maximize our view and before we go ahead and create our triangulation just ensure that we only have the sections and strings for the three curb returns Road 1 and Road 2 turned on. To create our triangulation we go to Tins, Create, Triangulate Data. Under the General tab we give it a function name and we'll call this one Tin Design. Our new tin name will be Design, making sure that you press Enter each time. Our tin colour, if we click on the colour icon, you'll notice that we only have the standard 1612D colours. There are of course many more and the colour that we're after is actually called Viz. So if you just type V and then hit Control D on your keyboard, you'll notice that all our visualisation colours appear. And the colour we're looking for is the one that we're going to match our um, template and the colour of the strings are Viz Road Bitumen. If you now click on the Data tab, we want to triangulate everything inside View Design. So we select the View icon and select View Design. On the Nulling tab, we want to apply nulling so we don't get all the long triangles out here. And we want to set our length to 1 metre. So without crossing over any break lines, which would be our interface or cro cross section strings, 12D will delete any triangle that has the longest side greater than 1 metre. So it should tidy up all the, all the additional triangles in this area out here. And we can simply hit Triangulate and then turn on the model Tin Design and there's our triangulation. We can just re close down the retriangulate panel and if we check our contours by going to the settings button and going to walking right on tins and selecting contours and we'll just change them from a contour interval of 1 down to 0 0.1 and a bold increment of 0 0.5. We'll just click on the draw triangles and hit set and then if we zoom in here on our intersection we can see the nice contours as we go along the road here with a 3% crossfall and the contours as we go around the intersection. Once we're happy with our triangulation and our contours it's a, always a good idea to create a boundary around the entire tin surface and to add that boundary into the creation of our triangulation so that if we do have to recalculate it we always come back to this same triangulation. So we can finish on that. We go to Tins, Boundary. Our tin is the design. The model for the boundary. It's always good to have a naming convention and in this case we'll use the same model as the triangulation itself and just add the suffix BDY. If you then put a comma and type in design that will add the boundary to the design plan view. We can hit create and finish. And you can see it's turned on a cyan string around the outside boundary edge there. To add it into our triangulation we go to tins, edit, a tin and we select the tin design. You can then go to the nulling tab and just clear out all these values and click on the polygon icon and select the boundary string. Be sure to keep selecting until you get the boundary string and accept it. Then hit retriangulate 
and finish. Now if we recalculate this design for any reason, this triangulation for any reason, we will always get the same result.